So we're going to start. So please tell me your name and where you're from in North Carolina. My name is Missy Perdue-Siler, and I am from Mandeo in their county, North Carolina. Okay, and I'm going to ask you to speak up just a little bit, okay? So as you know, March is Developmental Disabilities Awareness Month. Um, can you tell me what does being DD aware mean to you? Well, being DD aware to me means being open to the fact that not everyone processes life experience the same way that you do. Mm -hmm. That um, there are differences across the lifespan and among just about all the people regarding how people interact with others and the world around them. Some people may have sensory issues that are different from the norm, let's say, or different ways of walking, talking, being, or moving in the world. And it's important to make room in our thought processes to be open to the different things that all people, regardless of ability, can bring to the world. So what kind of opportunities would you like to see come a fold for people with disabilities in North Carolina? Okay. I would like I would like to see all opportunities open up as fully as possible for people with disabilities in North Carolina, but I am I'm an optimist. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see the day. Here's here's what I want to see. I want to see the day when people with disabilities in North Carolina can <clears throat> access employment can get married, can have children, can own or rent their own place wherever they want to be, and have a full and enviable life. That's what I'm... And how does the community as a whole become more DD aware? <clears throat> Are we speaking about the everyone. Community, oh, the, the community and everyone? Everyone. Okay. Everyone across North Carolina. How do, how do we make inclusive and integrated communities happen, and how do we make people without disabilities more DD aware? Okay. Well, the first piece of that is to stop and to think. <laughs> to take <clears throat> yourself out of the silo, let's say, that you might currently inhabit and ask yourself, okay, how would I, if faced with a, an issue regarding getting into and out of a building, let's say that suddenly I'm on crutches, how would I handle getting into and out of buildings? Would it be easy for me to open doors? <clears throat> would it be easy for me? with say, this mobility challenge to access the day-to-day -day things. And I'm talking about <clears throat> employment, getting in and out of things like grocery stores. Would it be easy for me to access other community buildings such as, is it easy for me to access a courthouse? Would it be easy for me to access a library? It's just little things like that that can turn someone's perception completely around. And I'm not just talking about mobility challenges. If you stop and think for a few minutes about how you as a person, how you as a person would deal with your life if you suddenly had a difference of ability then thinking about that will change how you see not only your life, but the lives of everybody else around you. Mm -hmm. And making, making it easier for everyone is the goal here. And 
what would you tell people without disabilities mm -hmm. about the abilities of people with disabilities? Oh, wow. <laughs> How much time do you have? I have about a minute. <laughs> <laughs> because I could write a book. <laughs> and I probably will. I hope you do. <clears throat> the main thing that I would like to see change about how the general population sees people with disabilities, we are, we are seen for the most part, I believe, in terms of lack. But we have made great strides and we are probably among the most adaptable group of people that you ever saw. Give us a few minutes, present us with a challenge, and we'll find some way around that challenge or through that challenge because it's just what we do. Just give us a few minutes. We'll, we'll handle it. Just give us a chance. I love that. And what would you say tell employers about people with disabilities? <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Get ready. <laughs> because when you take the leap and you hire a person with a disability in your organization, you've just done one of the best things for your business that you could ever do. Mm -hmm. Because it has been shown that people with disabilities have <clears throat> very high retention rates. You've just invited into your business a person who will show up, who will do what needs to be done, will, who will, in most cases, go above and beyond what it is that they're supposed to be doing in their job description. And it, doing this, hiring someone with a disability, puts your business in the forefront of being a, put your put your business in the forefront of being on the cutting edge. This is what diversity means. Having people of all abilities and all types and sorts pre present in your business, that means that you've just made it easier for everybody to be the path to your door because they want to talk to you about what you can do for them. I love that. I'm going to ask you that question one more time because there was a little bit of a cart, little bit of a scene going on in the back. Oh, it was try oh you were trying to move people. <laughs> Wait, you were trying to move. I'm just going to ask you that one. I didn't realize. No, you were fine. You did a great job. It, I just wanted to make sure there was not an Abbott and Costello routine behind you. So I'm just going to ask you that again. Okay. And we're going to start with that. I would like you to start your sentence with the community can be can be more can be more DD aware by. Okay. Okay. So how can the community, like employers, mm -hmm. be more DD aware? The community can be more DD aware by, most importantly, stopping for a moment and thinking about more than what they might see on a daily basis. <clears throat> for instance, they might see someone going up a ramp, and the first thought that they have might be, oh, what life must be like to live without the ability to walk up a flight of stairs. <clears throat> the community can be more DD aware by starting the conversation this way. Oh, I wonder what things that person is currently going up that ramp is good at. What things do they do they bring to what things do they bring to their family, to their friends? I wonder what they enjoy and what they're most proud of. Those things, what I've just mentioned, do not define in terms of black. And that is the most important thing that the community can do.